All right, now in this next portion here, uh, we're in Photoshop. And the reason we're in Photoshop is because I feel like we're at a state that a lot of people will, a lot of uh, new users or beginners will look at this and say, this is looking pretty good. I like where this is going. And that's fine. I do like where it's going. It is looking pretty good, I think. Uh, but you might sort of get the sense that you're almost done or that this is almost complete. And while it does look good, it has cool lighting. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's far from where I want it to be um, as a final product. And um, I feel like this is the stage. This is going to sort of separate uh, the amateurs from the pros, right? Um, the pros are going to stop here or periodically along the way and plan more things out or brainstorm and try a bunch of different things. Whereas an amateur may look at this and say, this is close to done. I'm happy where this is at. I'm going to leave it. Um, and, uh, if you want to sort of push beyond that, you sort of need to, um, plan things out a little bit more, um, add more things. The, the more little fine details that you can add, the more little bits of story that you can put into your scene, um, the cooler it's going to look. And it's going to, again, it's going to separate you from, uh, the amateurs or the pros. So the reason I'm in Photoshop now is because I want to plan things out a little bit from where I'm at. Um, I do have, uh, my PRF up and I'm kind of looking at some things here. Um, and again, I'm not really following any of these, um, any of these in particular. Um, so it's not something that, um, I'm not really trying to follow any of these exactly. So my scene isn't really going to end up like any of these. So, um, so I want to plan some things out and try to figure out, um, what I can do to make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm in Photoshop. I brought in my little render that I did, and I'm just going to do some draw overs, um, to kind of sort of plan things out a little bit. And the first thing I want to do here is grab my brush and I have just a little, um, a red brush. So nothing too crazy. It doesn't have to be super artistic or anything, but I just want to sort of plan things out. I want to sort of flesh this out a little bit, um, and have a game plan going forward to make this a much more interesting and dynamic, uh, scene. So, uh, obviously the first thing I want to do is maybe add some pavers, some pave stones, and, you know, we will have grass and, and other things. But maybe there's a trail of pavers going down to this little um, staircase. And maybe I want it to be a little bit more, like, wavy. So something like that. Um... a little bit of flow to it. And then uh, here I'm going to have hopefully like a little dock. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, again, this is just sort of us planning our our game plan from here on out. So Doc, maybe some stairs going down here. <clears throat> um, in certain areas, I could definitely add some bushes. I will, we will have grass. That's probably the, one of the next big things we talk about is the grass, but, um, having some bushes and, and maybe little tufts of grass here and there coming out of the rocks. And some trees in the background. Um, now, I I originally wanted to have, for there to be a big sort of like uh, oak tree or aspen or something over here. 
Um, and I may keep that idea. I may also put it over here somewhere. So your, your sort of choices here don't need to be set in stone. Um, so it's not like you're making choices here that you need to keep or you need to follow through and stick, stick to. Um, but this is basically just giving us ideas. Maybe I want this tree to be a little bit behind the house. And I'm, I'm thinking about these light rays here and how it might cast some cool light, light effects, um, through this tree. <clears throat> and then maybe some smaller like pine trees over here like this in my reference and then same over here have some pine trees or maybe some pine trees maybe uh maybe a little like oak tree back there and some other bushes trees so on here as well um and again, little tufts of grass here and there, bushes. Uh, we could even sort of start thinking about uh, things like maybe we have like a little garden here. So little lines representing a garden and then a little fence. A little makeshift fence around the garden and then we can do some little little plants in there I don't know about this I don't know if we'll keep the garden idea we'll see how it goes um, <clears throat> and then maybe like some lily pads or some rocks around the you know this is basically gonna be in water so And, you know, this is your opportunity to really sort of just let loose and kind of do what you can. Um, I think I like this a little bit more. So this has like this curve, right? So I kind of want this flow. I think that has a cool look to it, so... If I can get that to work, a lot of times you do something like this in 2D and it's a lot more difficult to get that to work in 3D. Um, you know, most likely this is going to be need to be a little bit more exaggerated to get this to work. And, you know, we can also sort of add things to the house itself. You know, you can come in and say, maybe I want to add a little... Um, little doodads, little knickknacks. Um, I think there should be like a little bit taller grass around the edge of the house. Um, I'm assuming they don't have a, a trimmer or a weed whacker. So uh, as they sort of groom their lawn, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to um, keep the grass low around the house. So I think this will also just kind of help seat the house into the environment a little bit as well. So that's something I want to think of. Um, you know, maybe there's, we could even think of things like maybe there's a little broom right here leaning up against the door. Um, and none of these are things that I may necessarily add in. Um, but I, I definitely want to go through a little bit of a planning stage when I sort of hit like the midpoint of the, the project that I'm working on. And I think this is important uh, to draw it yourself, even though it's kind of these very easy, sketchy things, because when you're looking at a, a scene that you didn't do, you didn't create, obviously, right? There's all these little things. And especially when they're AI generated like this, we don't really know what these are. The AI doesn't even know. Like I said, it's not very good at logic thinking logically so it's just creating a bunch of random things that um 
that don't really make sense. So to go in and draw them yourself this way, you're, you kind of have an idea of what everything is. You know what these things are. Um, you know, for example, I could come in and say, put a bucket in, like maybe there's a little bucket right here, or maybe we even have a well somewhere. Maybe there's a well back here. I don't think we need a well because we're surrounded by water. So I don't think that's a fantastic idea. Um, but you know, you can add these little, little things. Maybe there's a little, uh, fire pit right here, right? With little camping maybe there's a pot over the fire right and you know looking at this as an outsider or out of context you probably have no idea what that is but um, for me I know exactly what that is and I may want to try to implement that into my scene so uh, don't uh, neglect planning things out as you go don't neglect sort of Taking thing, taking a step outside of the 3D environment, bringing it into something like Photoshop, drawing out some ideas, planning things out a little bit, um, it will it will certainly help your your artwork. Um, <clears throat> so don't uh, don't sleep on that. You know, uh, it's a very important phase. Don't get into this trap that you you do one really cool thing, right? Like the lighting, the the volume lighting we added was very neat and very cool. But um, that's just like one little thing. And there's a lot of other little things that we need to add to this before it's going to look really great.